Hey guys, so I am an educator at Unacademy and you can follow me over there if you are interested to watch videos on basic concepts of chemistry or physical chemistry topics. You can also recommend this to your juniors and to your younger siblings, right? All you need to do is download the Unacademy learning app and watch my videos over there. Now let's just begin with our topic. Right, so a very good evening to you guys and today I'm going to discuss with you a topic uh, which is RNS configuration in, bi uh, in um, bicyclic compounds or in nor norborane kind of compounds. All right, so uh, this kind of question has not been um, seen in academic circles for a very long time. There have been qu questions on RNS configuration in biphenyls, in spiranes, in alenes, but I have not seen uh, for, a, for quite some time now question on RNS configuration in um, uh, bicyclic compounds so this this particular topic was requested by Sapna so thank you for requesting this topic uh, because since it's not been seen for a long time in academic circles I'm expecting that uh, in the coming entrance exams this could be a question that could be asked because our RNS configuration in this kind of in these kind of compounds is a little different it's not difficult at all it's really easy uh, but it's a little different than the rest of the um, RNS configuration how you found how, how you find it so let's look into the structure so this, this is the structure of camphor and it has two chiral centers I labeled it with a star one is this chiral center over here this is one chiral center and this is the other chiral center so we need to find out the uh, RNS configuration at these two chiral centers so how do we do that first of all what do you need to know there are, there is some the, obviously every question requires a prerequisite knowledge and that is you need to know your uh, Khan and Gold prelog uh, priority rules right so you should know which compound which uh, which particular part of the carbon skeleton should be given priority right that should be uh, on your tips so let's see to this first let's let's find out the uh, first uh, let's find out the stereochemistry or the RNS configuration of this particular carbon over here so to this carbon we have a methyl group attached that is a CH3 group right then we have so I have written down over here CH3 then we have a C CO group attached so we ha also have a CO group attached right CO and then I can write down CH2 CO CH2 group attached right so we have a to this carbon we have a CO CH2 group attached CO CH2 then we have a methyl group attached uh, we also have a carbon to which two methyl groups are attached we have so to this carbon we have a carbon to which two methyl groups are attached and then it's attached to another CH carbon right so there is a hydrogen also over here at this carbon so this is that group C two CH threes and then a CH group and then we have this carbon also over here CH two CH two so I have written down over here so tell you tell me first of all which which one will have the highest priority so obviously this one over here will have the highest priority because this is a carbon so all of them are attached to carbons but this carbon is attached to oxygen so this will be given number one priority uh, then the second priority will come to this carbon because to this carbon we have one two and three carbons attached whereas to this carbon we have only one carbon attached so this will be given the second priority right uh, then the third priority will be given to ch2 ch2 this will be given the third priority all right uh, and this will be the methyl group will be given the fourth priority right so the methyl group has the fourth priority this one has the first priority uh, the one on top has the second priority and this one has third priority so this is the priority order for this particular for for this particular carbon so if now what you need to see is that whenever you're seeing RNS configuration always uh, remember that the fourth group that is the group with the least priority should be away from you so whenever you're finding RNS configuration you should know that the fourth group or the lowest priority group should be away from you so over here this methyl group you have to imagine it's behind the plane so this methyl group that you're seeing over here which has the fourth priority it is behind the plane right it's going uh, behind the whiteboard so it's behind the plane and so it is away from you so if you're looking from like this if you're looking at the uh, configuration like this all right then the, the methyl group is going away from you it's going away from you that is the lowest priority group is going away from you so how so this uh, now how will you find out the um, stereochemistry so this is priority one this is this is priority 2 this is priority 3 so how is it moving 1 2 3 it's moving like this so this is anti clockwise so this will be s right so this will be this is anti clockwise and this will be s um, and since the methyl, methyl group is facing away from you when you look like this the methyl group is facing away from you that is why uh, it will retain the s configuration all right because the lowest priority group is away from you so this particular center has s configuration this particular center has s configuration all right 
all right so just, let's let's just uh, let me just rub this off okay so this one we know has s so now let's find out for um this one over here let's find out for this center so over here we also have a hydrogen over here so i'll draw the hydrogen as well we also have a hydrogen attached to this particular carb now this hydrogen you should imagine it's coming out of the plane it's coming towards you right this hydrogen is coming towards you it's coming out of the plane the metal was going behind the plane inside the plane of the whiteboard this is coming out of the whiteboard this hydrogen is coming out of the whiteboard all right so now let's let, let us give priority so to this carbon we have again a carbon attached to which we have two methyl groups attached and a ch group attached and a carbon attached so this is that group we have a carbon two methyl groups and a carbon attached then we have ch2 ch2 so we have a ch2 ch2 group um, then we have a ch2 co group we have ch2 co group attached and then we have a hydrogen so obviously hydrogen will be given the least priority that is number four so i'll write down over here hydrogen is, uh, is given the least priority that is number four um, okay now comparing ch2 co and now comparing these three so all to all of them carbon is attached right to all of them carbon is attached but to this carbon we have two methyl groups attached but to this carbon we have only a carbon attached and we have two hydrogens attached so first of all let me tell you even though to this carbon we have oxygen attached but that comes later that comes at a later stage first we need to see the priority of these three carbons we see to this carbon we have two one two and three carbons attached whereas to this carbon we have only one carbon attached so we do not have to go to the to the next carbon even since over here also over here only we have decided the priority we do not have to go to the next carbon so over here the priority will be given to this carbon so this carbon will have the number one priority all right always remember this carbon will have number one priority because at this particular carbon only we can see that if we have three carbons attached so over here only priority will be assigned to this carbon carbon we do not have to go to the next carbon in this case we will have to go to the next carbon because to both the carbons to both these carbons we have two hydrogens and one carbon attached to this carbon also we have two hydrogens and one carbon attached and to this carbon also we have two hydrogens and one carbon attached that is why we will have to go to the next group so the next group is ch2 group but over here the next group is carbon attached to oxygen over here the next next group will be a carbon only the next group will be a carbon only but over here the next group is a carbon which is attached to oxygen so this will be given the second priority and this will be given the third priority so if i mention over here this is the fourth right um, then first priority is given to this center over here um, second is given to this carbon and third is given to this carbon right now let's find out the rns configuration um, so if we try and find out the rns configuration how will it look like uh, so we have one over here two over here and three over here so again we have clockwise you can see it's going clockwise so this is our configuration but i told you that whenever you are looking at the compound the, the least priority group should be away from you it should be going away from you but if you look at like this this hydrogen is coming towards you it's not going away from you i told you this hydrogen is coming out of the whiteboard so it's coming towards you that means whatever if the least priority group is coming towards you instead of going away from you all you need to do is reverse the configuration what you're getting so over here we are getting our configuration all we need to do is reverse the configuration so the correct configuration for this center will be s right so for this camphor compound we have 1s and 4s this is the first position and this is the fourth position both are chiral and both have s configuration all right so i hope this was clear to you this topic was clear to you it's pretty easy and i hope i did justice to this topic so in case you like this video um, please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends because this is a very important question very important concept that could be potentially asked in your csi net or your gate exam whatever exam you are preparing for and uh, try this compound out try and find out the configuration again this is the chiral center over here and this is the chiral center over here so try and find out the configuration and let me know uh, in the comment section what is the configuration whether it's r or it's s all right um, okay I, i'll i'll tell you in the comment section only what's the answer because so that you will have a good practice so go ahead and practice this question and again um thank you so much for watching and all the very best for your upcoming exams thank you